came together? Because you were the guy who really kind of got the team together, right? No, Whitey Harris was. Well, well anyway, Whitey Harris was a sergeant in the third district with the manufacturing railroad down there for shipping the Budweiser beer. And he was a good friend of um, Mr. McGuire, and uh, he got us a meeting with Hel uh, <coughs> Hillary uh, Lunchman Advertising Agency. Mr. Bush set it up for us. And anyway, finally I went down there and had about 10 bucks in our pocket. And when he said, we're going to ask him for 15,000. And that was a lot of money. And we had the meeting with him. We put our scrapbooks down. And I thought, well, we're really going to show this guy. He pushed him aside and said, I write this stuff. So anyway, we sat down. He said, how much do you want? Why do you look at me? And I looked at him. I said, 25,000. Well, why did he just drop his jaw? I thought, he thought I blew it. Well, anyway, a couple days later, we got the 25,000. That's how we did it. We did to bring down Carter back from Detroit, and that started our team rolling. And then it never stopped. Well, you talk about rolling. The Buds won five national buildings. Six. Six? Well, I'll tell you what, somebody told me five. I think I six. We'll, we'll check that. <laughs> but hey, when you're 95 and you say it's six, it's six. Yeah. yeah. But let's talk about May, March 12th, uh, 1958. You were at the Florist Lanes. There had been a record by the St. Louis Furman Undertakers in the same rolling thing. Well, they, they held it for about 30 some odd years, and then we were fortunate for her. We broke the record. Then I think our record lasted for 36 but with the new uh, equipment on the market being changed completely. It's still a good game. But I hope people have all been in business for, let's see, since about 1954. So anyway, I was invested in five bowling centers over a period of time. And we just sold out December 31st in this past year, which was my birthday. So I, I can retire. My son worked there 40 years. The bowling game is still going on. But you broke that record that you set in St. Louis by the Herman Undertakers at Floris Lane, and you broke it by 61 pins. Right. 3858 total average out more than 771 pins per man, or 257 per game, for 15 games. And what uh, I recall, fact check it too, but uh, we'll see. You were the main man. You, you got the high score, and uh, we'll see you. I had one open in there also, 267, 267, 300. <laughs> anyway, today that doesn't doesn't mean much, because the scores have skyrocketed since. And there won't be more power to them, because records are made to be broke. Yeah. Well, you know, I was amazed when we were doing research, and I was out with the Shield of Shelter, and the BJs now own the record of St. Louis team. They could not all be here today because most of them moved out of town. But it's still held by St. Louisans, the record you once had. Yeah. It's three different teams held the record from St. Louis. I guess we just had great bowlers. Great bowlers. <laughs> so, what about you, Ray? What do you think your legacy in this buds? Well, I was thinking about that. Uh, of course, it's making money. Uh, basically, my legacy is educating my family through college. That, that, that's what I constantly 